Hey guys, this is JJGGG doing a, another custom review today, and um, I have some custom Vietnam Lego Vietnam soldiers. Um, based these guys off, all right, made them from parts and figures I had laying around. Um, so yeah, basically um, based these off of not very many, re not really refer reference pictures because they were all in black and white and stuff. Um, pretty much based them off of what I think they'd look like and from what books I read and shows like that and stuff like that, I guess. Um, so, yeah, first off, um, I'll start off with the Heavy Trooper. So, basically, he has got um, just this helmet is a custom helmet from Minifig Cat, and then the bazooka is from, um, what's called? Oh, yeah, from Brick Arms. And um, so he's got all his camouflage on because it, they in Vietnam they're fighting, or they're fighting, or a lot of the uh, environment was jungle, so they're fighting a lot of jungle. So they were camouflaged a lot, like so. That's what he's kind of got going on here. Um, some ammo pouches along the front, and yeah, so he'll just be blowing people up with his little bazooka thing there. Um, so yeah, there's the heavy trooper. Again, helmet from Minifi Cat, gun from Brick Arms. And then next we have got our, our, um, uh, yeah, sorry, can't get him front. There we go. Okay, this is the sergeant. Um, basically, um, he just had a little pistol from Lego, and he's just kind of leading the guys. He's not in his, um, combat gear right now. He's just in his, um, what are they? Just in his uniform that he's walking around the base with. Um, barking orders at people, barking orders at people, and I'm um, telling them what to do, and get ready for battle. So basically, he's got a calm face and just a plain um, head, no helmet, no hair, um, nothing on the back. He's got some camouflage, and then he's got kind of like a um, brown jacket. So that is the sergeant. Um, so two down, one to go. Next we have. Um, this is just like the regular trooper um, helmet and gun are from Brick Arms, and pretty much uh, this helmet isn't totally accurate, but I just thought it looked very cool on him because without the helmet, um, it doesn't look the best. I'll show you here. Pretty much, you doesn't looks kind of plain. It looks like something's missing, um, so that's why I pretty much added this helmet just to make it look complete. I guess you could say. Um, even though it may not be totally accurate, I just I think it looks pretty cool. Um, uh, leave the helmet straight here. Okay. Um, so yeah, he's got again the helmet and uh, gun from Brick Arms. So it's basically an M. It's an M16, which they use quite a lot. Um, that was their main gun in Nam. Um, so he's got a brown backpack to carry uh, stuff in gear and stuff and then he's got like a, just a little his um, camouflage jacket type thing just some gear I think it looks very good on this figure and then um, it's real. it was really hot there I guess too so um, he's just got no sleeves going on he's got some gloves but no sleeves um, so he's kinda tough and stuff I guess I could add some scratch marks but um, I didn't really want to um, and there is a little bit on the back not much but and they just got camouflage legs. So that is pretty much my custom Vietnam soldiers. Um, I've had them done for a little bit, quite a while, but um, I just thought it was cool. So yeah. Um, as always, you know, rate, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you guys comment because I don't get very many comments on my videos, and I'd um, just like to hear feedback. You know, what am I doing right? What do you would like to see me do next? Stuff like that. Um, and uh, just to sh something else to show you, I got a second ATRT, so now I have two of them, and I also got a second Old Republic thing, so it's really sweet to have two of them. Um, it's really cool. So, yeah, so please comment and hit that like button, thumbs up. Um, so yeah, please write, kind of, rate, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, thanks for watching, and this is JJGGG saying... See ya.